Okay. Florida, good to see you. We are on the home stretch, 23 minutes and 50,000 Phillips later. Allie's crushed it. She's crushed it. She's crushed it as always. To be a tour bus driver. I mean, I don't, don't get that crazy, but we're almost home. That sounds miserable to me. Remy, are you excited to be home? She does not want to leave this entire place. She really place. does love camping so much, you know. And now hiking. But the number one thing she likes are arcades, arcades. and museums. And museums, and which aquariums. is awesome. I love the yeah. fact that aquariums and museums are her favorite thing in the world. But arcades crazy. are her thing, her jam. This is such a busy month for us, like in regards to time. And Melissa's is getting married. Yeah. And then you leave April, whatever. Yeah. Then I leave for Australia and Southeast Asia. And then I win the lottery. It's gonna be wild. It's gonna be a great, great, great month. And then I buy a ranch and I adopt a whole bunch of animals. Some cows. I, I apologize. I rescue a bunch of animals. There'll be cows, there'll be horses, there'll be donkeys. We're gonna throw in some goats. There's gonna be some chickens and a few turkeys. Island cows. It's gonna be some ducks and some. I want them all. I just want them all. But I mainly want. I just want to save all the doggies and kitties and animals from the animal shelter. And I just want to bring them there and I want to find. We are 20 minutes away from home. Can I give a thumbs up? She's like, you don't even talk to me when I'm She gave me a thumbs up. She's ready. You feel better to be home? Hello. We finally made it home. Everyone, we're home. Luna, run away. Allie crushed it again. Remy's <laughs> already out to scooter. Time to go to bed. Okie, okay, what do you guys think? Oh, Okie's okay, excited. Do you want to go outside? As you can tell, these guys are super happy to be home. All they've been literally doing is getting up, running around in circles, running out back, rolling in the bed, rolling around. So now the problem is, not the problem, now the situation is that we have to unpack and clean up everything. There's no way. You cleaned it? No, I haven't finished it. I only, this, I don't think we need that box anymore, but. What's in it? Nothing. Oh, the equalizer? No, we don't need that. But nope. I, I literally was just starting to clean things out, just so it's a little bit more accessible. Yeah, makes sense. It doesn't look any different, but. Well, if you've been in there, I know it's different. The other side's nothing. But I want to get it really clean. I mean, I'm for we are going to be going on spring break in like a week and we're going to the beach, but. Um, we are? Yeah, I'm Something to be, oh, that's right. Ding dong. I want to make sure to. Hello, one. Sucky one. Yeah, they're everywhere now. I forgot. Come it's on. about that time. It's that time. Come on. Just climb up. Remy's been loving finding them, too. Come on, bud. I want to get a leaf. Yeah. He's cute. Look Hold how on. cute he is. Come on. Don't be stubborn. Don't do it. <gasps> oh! I'll get him. Good thing he's a silkworm. And we got some silk. Let's go get our kid. Yeah, don't get up or help or anything like that. Lazies. So what are we doing over here? He's donating. You're donating toys? So she's going through all Let's the toys. Go to a Roblox character. Yeah. <laughs> so Rem, you're gonna donate a bunch of your toys to kids? He's like, you can donate to my mouth. Dad, yes. I got everything I need. Dad, this is a right. Alright, so are you gonna give your Peppa Pig stuff away? Dad, um yeah, I don't like Peppa Pig. All pollen. And this came since we went away. Turns our pool green, right? Char's so upset about it. 
I, I, this I, is his constant battle. I finally had it down. I literally had it. I was so proud of myself. I literally had it down for months and months and months and months. And then pollen season again. I know. We bypassed beetle season, which is where the entire... We haven't had bee season lately. There used to be a bunch of bees all like that well that tree's been shot down. Well I think that I think we still have bees. I've seen them a little like big ones. Remember I told you I saw a giant bee? The giant black. There was like a giant yeah. it's about that big as a bumblebee. It. No, it was not. There was the little beads and those haven't been there because I think those wait, is that the tree that does it? Or is that tree? Um one? I think it was actually this you know, it might be this one. They they bud like little white flowers and the bumblebees are obsessed with it. You know what we could do? Start chopping those. Those vines. Oh yeah, I gotta do that. I gotta trim all this up. We come home from vacation and work begins. What I was trying to show you was, do you guys see this pollen everywhere? Ugh. I'm glad I don't have allergies, but man, if I did, I would just hate living. <laughs> it's so bad. Next week is spring break, and we have plans on camping out at a local place. So we have a lot of things that we want to get done and get it out of the way. That way we don't have to worry about it. Plus, Melissa's wedding is coming up very, very soon. Char is gonna be going on tour very, very soon. So we have like so much stuff that we have to get done. Remy was actually like the biggest helper today. I was like, you know, Rem, the donation people are coming at the end of the month. Do you feel like you want to donate? And she's like, let's donate. And I'm like, or you take toys or things that you don't use anymore. And then you give it to other kids or other families that might need it. And she goes, I want to donate. So she literally by herself on her own start going through her toys and picking out things that she wanted to donate. She asked me to come and put them in a bag for her, so I did it, but she did it all on her own. I was so proud of her. And now this is what she's doing. She's so big now, I hate it. Okay, so coming back from this trip, I realized that there were a lot of things in the RV that were not organized, which made it a little bit complicated when we went on this trip. It was like we kind of just piled stuff on top of each other. We couldn't find certain things, so we'd have to pull everything out and then dig through it. We have all this Tupperware, and I'm going to put certain things in certain baskets so that one, it's easy and it's accessible, and then two, that way, when it comes to future trips, we don't have to worry about this in the future. So we have stuff for like sewer, uh, hookup stuff for like power, uh, we have like a fresh water uh, bag as well. Um, that way we don't mix the stuff, especially sewer and fresh water. You never want to mix that up because that's just gross. Got the beds all stripped and I'm slowly cleaning up in here for it to only to get dirty in like a week, but for me, it's like super important to get it super clean before we do our next thing because I don't know about you, but it's like having a clean start somewhere. It just feels really, really good for me. It's like one of my best first qualities, I really think, because I, I can't focus if it's all cluttered. Like whenever I walk into the house and it's really cluttered, I get like, I don't want to say overwhelmed, but kind of overwhelmed. I think I've done a lot better since I fed Remy. I'm trying to get this as clean as possible, but I wanted to make sure that I got all of our sheets and comforters cleaned, clean out the bathroom, clean out the kitchen, wipe down the refrigerator as much as possible, and then get things organized. So I did organize underneath. I got mainly the things that we use every single time that we camp that are necessary, like a lot of plugs and cords, extension cables, hoses, all the above. That's like charge job, so I get everything else set up. Um, but when he is ready to go, he can just pull it out. He knows exactly where it is. He doesn't have to dig through a ton of stuff. And it's there. And that's it. And we're done. I know this is so exciting to you guys, but I feel like if you want a camper, these are kind of things that I hope help you. And they're little helpful hints. And these are the things that we've kind of like discovered over the past couple of years of owning an RV and renting an RV and things like that. And now that we have this trailer, which is much smaller, it's definitely better to be way more organized than this because you have very limited space. I'm trying my best. All those towels right there, they gotta get washed. Anyways, I gotta go to the store. I'm gonna take a break from this. It's really hot. In this Tennessee.